Good morning. Chris and I are here at the La Poudre Pass Trailhead located inside the Roosevelt National Forest. And this is just outside Rocky Mountain National Park. And today we're going to go for Cloud View Peak, also known as Jiffy Pop Peak, and also Lead Mountain. And we're going to try and get both of those from the Skeleton Gulch. Official start time, 7.15. We are now entering Rocky Mountain National Park. And we're hiking in the clouds up here. We just saw a coyote, really cool. He was sitting there looking at us for a second. But yeah, this first part of the hike is real easy. Like three and a half miles on this flat road. I was just mentioning this possibility to Chris, probably not even two minutes ago, saying I hope we don't come across a moose on this road. I'm trying to use myself as bait to lure him out of that little corridor that he's in right there. We need him to go past us because it kind of opens up behind us a little bit. Come on, buddy, keep coming this way. No, don't get sidetracked with the flowers and the pretty water, no. Nope, nope, no, definitely don't do that. We're gonna ride this out, push him out this way. All right, there he goes. All right. Yeah, and the hike continues. And the clouds just broke up a little bit and we got some sunshine. I think it's gonna be a beautiful day. That's looking down and over to the Kawanichi Valley. I believe that's gonna be Lulu City right below us. And if you start within Rocky Mountain National Park, you gotta start way out there at the Colorado River Trailhead. We're doing this the easy way. And as we come around the corner, Skeleton Gulch is gonna be right there in front of us, but it is blocked by the clouds. We've been hiking for an hour and 15 minutes and we have almost made it down here to the beginning of Skeleton Gulch. We just crushed that road portion and knocked out like 3.5 miles. Dude, if you fall off this right now, I might get that viral video that I've always been wanting. All right, guys, Skeleton Gulch. We're looking at about 1.2 miles to the back of the gulch. The flowers back here are insane. It's a little wet back here. My shoes are wet. We're coming up to a field of elephant head flowers. And I think we just went the wrong way. Well, it looks like this might be the way after all. 
This is wet through here. We have just made it through this real wet section right here. All of this is nasty. But right here behind me, the trail continues and we're back on it. The only problem is my boots and my pants from the knees down are soaked. All right, we're back on dry land again. This is good. We're maybe a quarter mile away from where we're gonna split off. All right, guys. I think we have done all of the nasty bushwhacking. We have pretty much made it to the back of the gulch here. And that is looking up at Lead Mountain. And to the left is Jippy Pop Peak. And we're gonna head up the saddle there. And hopefully that snow is not an issue. I have been waiting for this part of the hike all day. I feel like we've done all of the just boring and nasty parts. However, we've got like 90% of the incline coming. So it's not over. It's actually just beginning. So far, this is the crux of the hike. He's doing that much more gracefully than I did. Nice job. This is unbelievable back here. Wow. As I spin around, kind of to the northwest. That is gonna be East TP Mountain and Mount Richthofen. We're making our way over through this nice open area. And this is just so beautiful through here. Loving it. We're making our way over the bumps and I think we have a clear path to the top. We've got a big horn sheep headed straight for us. Here he comes. I'd say we're probably close to halfway up to the saddle. We're taking a look at what we have left and I think I see the way right here. I'm gonna come up and just make a beeline straight for the ridge way up here and then take it to the top of Jiffy Pop. But since we're gonna be going that way, we're probably gonna cut out Lead Mountain because to come down, we'd have to come all the way down, like hike back up here and get around the snow that way. And I just don't know if we're gonna be wanting to do all that. I'm not kidding. If 
this was like one degree steeper i don't think we could make it up this is real loose too we got it that's looking over to lead mountain and i'm thinking that that ridge is a no-go that looks real savage we're gonna focus on getting jiffy pop this thing is a grind and finally we have gained the ridge we're gonna take a nice five minute break right here wow that was incredibly steep at the end and then this is looking down into the Hitchens Gulch and over to Lake of the Clouds Lake of the Clouds is looking awesome over there yeah we're both feeling a little nauseated my goodness that was a grind coming up this thing but this is all we have left we got that yeah i'm like 99 percent sure we're not going to go for lead mountain today we're going to be content with jiffy pop and going down this is going to be pretty treacherous we just took a quick five minute break but we have decided to push on and knock out this final section up to the summit. And this is the very final section. We're so close. All right, guys, it is just now 1135. So that took four hours and 20 minutes to get up here. And this is the summit of Jiffy Pop Peak, also known as Cloud View Peak. All right, man, nice job. Yeah, that was a grind. That was much steeper than what I thought it was gonna be. It is time to chill. Yeah, man. Boom. Boom. Got it. I found this tiny little register up here, so I'm gonna go ahead and hit it with a card. Let's name some peaks. Right behind Chris is Lead Mountain, and over there to the right is Mount Mauler. Moving on over from Mount Mauler, going to be TP Mountain, Mount Richthofen, Static Peak, 
the Electrode, Iron Mountain, and Lulu Mountain. As I spin over here some more, that's going to be Long Draw Reservoir. Hague's Peak, Fairchild Mountain, Ypsilon Mountain, Mount Chiquita, Mount Chapin, Sundance Mountain, and then a bunch of little ones in the foreground. And then as I move over here, I'm able to see Teratoma Mountain, Mount Julian, Mount Ida. Directly behind Mount Ida is Long's Peak sticking up in the clouds. You can see Pagoda Mountain, Chief's Head Mountain, Mount Alice, and then all the ones to the southwest. And as I spin around, I'm really not too sure what all of these are other than Lake of the Clouds and Mount Nimbus in the background. All right, guys, it is about 1.10, and we've been sitting up here for a little over an hour and a half, but it's getting late, so it is time to go. It's time to head on back. All right, let's do it. We're gonna be going straight down this thing. We're aiming for that little pile of rocks down there. That is looking back up at the summit. I finally got some good lighting in this direction. Yeah, that is nice. We have almost made it down to the rock pile and that's where we're gonna split off to the right and it is going to be extremely steep for a moment. I cannot believe we made it up this section. This was incredibly steep and really loose. I mean, just terribly loose. I would easily classify it as atrocious. And check out the cloud. I am glad we're not on the summit anymore. It's taken us like an hour to get down to this point. And the wind is picking up big time. We have almost made it down this thing, but not quite. We've probably got another three tenths of a mile back to where we split off. 
So, it's not over yet. We're looking for a good place to cross the water. Chris is gonna run and jump. This is a bad idea. Whoa! Nice! I will not be doing that because I will not be getting up. We have made it down to these big old flat rocks. We're gonna take another break and just enjoy the scenery. got done taking a quick little break but we're going to continue on and it's not going to be too long before we're out of the gulch and back on that road back on the trail. This should be smooth sailing the rest of the way. Whew. Not a problem. All right, we're looking at three and a half miles back on the Grand Ditch Road. It basically took us two hours and 10 minutes to get from the summit of Jiffy Pop back down here to Grand Ditch Road. And that's the view of Jiffy Pop Peak that we did not get this morning because it was all cloudy. We were robbed of these views on the way in today. But that's looking back at Skeleton Gulch, Jiffy Pop Peak on the left. All right, and we're back. It is just now 4.50, which means that it took three hours and 40 minutes to come down. My goodness, that hike was a lot harder than I thought it was gonna be. Feels so good to sit down. That was a tough hike, but we hope you enjoyed it. And until the next one, y'all, peace.